So the next thing that we have to do over here is to provide a dependency using the add provide uh, annotation over here. So previously we saw how we can make use of an add bind annotation. So let us see how we can make use of the add provide annotation. And basically interface is not only the case where you cannot do the constructor injection. So there are like a third party libraries as I have previously mentioned, we have a retrofit room. And all of those are the third party libraries where we, where we don't have access to the constructor. And if you don't have uh, access to the constructor, you cannot go and add your own uh, dependencies over there, right? So we need to find a way where we can provide a dependencies for this kind of uh, external library classes. So we'll be taking up, uh, we are not going to use the retrofit room or any other third party libraries over here. We'll just make use of our existing classes over here and how we will make use of add provide annotation. So let's go back over here to our uh, project over here. And uh, what we will do is we'll just go to this particular car function implementation over here. And uh, over here we we don't have any the dependency for each one and i think i will add uh, some dependency for that one i think the car yeah so yeah so i think let's go and add create a one more uh function over here or let's create a class over here package and let's say our epsi repository R-E-P-U-S-I-S-I-T-O-R and uh, here what did I did actually over here so let me create a new package and uh, then inside this I will add a new caution class and call it as a let's say a car repository and uh, yeah and here we have some function like add to add add row or something like that and then, then we'll just go and print out or something or you can just return something from here or if you are written and this will return uh, like let's see a number of 101 and what is going on over here and this is a type of a written type of an int okay and uh, then what we need to do is we need to provide a constructor over here okay so we got the constructor over here and uh, then now we'll go to the implementation over here and we will uh, provide that and we need a car repository, right? Okay, so we got that one. Now this particular car function, car functions implementation need uh, another dependency of the car repository, and uh, that is implementing a car function over here. And then I can just create a over here one function just to make sure that we call that particular function and I just say insert or something right and then here we will just uh, return that particular car repository dot add row and the return type is of the type is of the int and then I'll just go back to my module over here and uh, then we'll just go over here on top of it and then I'll make use of add provide annotation and then I'll just create a function to just uh, provide what we need to provide is a car car repository right R -E -P -O, car repository and that is the thing that we have to provide and the written type is of the car repository okay and then we can just return from here a car repository and then we don't have uh, any i think if i go to car repository we don't have any dependency over here 
but I need to add an inject over here. So add inject, sorry, what I did over here. So add inject, okay. So we got that one and now we have injected over here. And then we can just go back to our activity model. We are providing it and here we saw that we can make use of our repository, the return type. And now after that, I can just go and create another app, provide an addition over here, and function, and then I just provide. Um, we are, we are provide. What we need to provide is the uh, this particular class, right? Car functional implementation. We need to provide this particular class over there. And uh, then the 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 type is what does it actually need it needs a repository so i need a car repository right so i need to pass a car repository over here and then uh, the written type from here is what we need to return is this particular car function so the written type is of the car function interface so the car function is the interface right so we need to same as here we are returning that one and now uh, we just have to return what we need to return is the car function implementation and then we need to provide this particular uh here that this requires a constructor parameter for injection dependency. It has a dependent. This car functions uh, implementation has a dependency of the car repository. So we'll pass that one over here. And then I think I can just uh, go and comment out this one. I'm not going to actually use that one for now because we are already providing this car functions, uh, the, this particular interface over here. Right? So we're using an add, an add provide annotation. Previously, we are using add bind, but now uh, we are using the add provide annotation. So let's go back to our main activity over here. And now we have a car functions over there. And then I can also get that particular valve. And I just say add, add or something. We have a add result or something. And then we just uh, call that. Uh, car functions that we have uh, another do drive i think we have a uh, insert i think right so is it why i cannot find that one implementation function insert okay so i need to go over here where is that one over here so i need to call that particular function why I can okay, so I'm just implementing that one. So I just need to implement the I need to get the car function implementation, sorry, not the car function that one. So we got that one. And then, then I need to pass uh, this particular app result over here. So if everything's gone is gone well, if we have provided all of the dependency requirement. And if this particular implementation is created, and if this repository is uh, done, uh, everything is implemented, and the injection dependency injection is done correctly, then we will be able to get that particular over here. So I think it's our type of thing. So I just have to say add that to a string. And let me run my application. So basically, I think you are a bit confused over here but uh, it's the same thing okay so add provide so what is the error that we need to find it basically says that its uh, activity module is abstract and has a instance of add provide method uh, consider making the method static or include a non-static subclass okay so basically it says that this app module is uh, abstract so we need to make it as a static is make consider making a method static so what we have to do over here is uh, i just can remove this abstract over from here right and uh, i don't need because 
Previously, we are using a bind and providing abstract functionality over there, but here we are not uh, we are not using any abstract functionality. So we just can remove that abstract from, uh, abstract annotation or the abstract class and just create a normal class over here. Or we can just also create a object that would be more better. And since it was saying that we need to create, sorry, where was that one build error? Where is that build error? Yeah. It says that we consider making a method static, so we just made a single term object over here. So I think that should be fine. And let's go to the logcat. And if everything goes fine, then we should be able to get that particular uh, printout for all of our work. Okay. So, so yeah. It means that all of these are working fine. So our uh, dependency injection using the add provide annotation is working fine. So previously we made use of the add bind annotation and now we have made use of the add provide annotation. So when to use uh, a what or when to use when or when to use a provider, when to use a bind uh, basically depends on the use case. I think uh, the bind is more suitable for if you have just a uh, multi-do or constructor injection for your interface or you want to provide a instance of your interface but if you have some uh, normal classes like your retrofit rooms and uh, these are the third party libraries not the interface right so we where we can uh, set all of those so at that time i think it's better we use a provides it's much simpler simple you just have to provide a uh, uh, object over here and create a single term uh, class like uh, as object over here and in the previous we had to create another abstract class and then provide abstract function and then bind it but here is uh, provides is I think it's much simpler we first we have to create all of the required dependency that is first we need to provide this or uh, create this car repository because if you want to implement this uh, car functionality implementation that is requiring a car repository a car repository so its constructor requirement is the car repository this is a dependency for this particular car function implementation so what we need to do is we need to create that uh, repository first because we need to provide it at our the constructor over here because when we return this particular, uh, when we create this particular car functional implementation, we need to pass this uh, car to the over here. So we don't have to manually do it because uh, the hill or the driver is uh, already intelligent enough to know that we have already created the instance or the object of this car repository and it knows how to and where to find that this particular car repository and to pass it to over to our car functionality implementation constructor over here. So we don't have to do it manually. Driver or the hill will automatically find where is this and uh, how to provide it over here. So that's the beautiful thing. So we don't have to uh, do our ourselves uh, maintain all of those stuff. So I hope you understand this one. How it how we can make use of our add provide as well as the add bind annotation and when to use this particular concept. When to use a bind and when to use a provide. So for your retrofit rooms and other third party libraries we can definitely make use of a provides it's a much simpler but if you have some condition like you have to do some uh, injection on or provide the uh, dependency for your uh, interface at the time we have to make use of this particular add bind annotation